Hey there folks, Lenny Rudo here for Fish Talk Magazine. Today, I've come to All Tackle in Annapolis, Maryland. But not for the usual reason. No, I'm not gonna go in and buy a bunch of stuff. Today, we're here to talk about the imperative tuna trolling lures that you have got to have. Hi, buddy. With us today, folks, we have Tom Weaver, the official All Tackle spokesman. And I gotta ask you, Tom, what is the number one selling tuna lure in this whole store? Oh, it happens to be the uh, Blue and White Islander, Lenny. Um, I happen to have one here. Perfect. And I happen to have one out of the package. There and you go. I'd yeah. like to ask you, Tom, how do you like to rig this guy? Well, it depends what type of tuna you're going to aim for, but I think generally out of uh, Ocean City, we're going for yellowfin. Mm -hmm. um, I like to put a single ballyhoo in behind it, and sometimes in a little bit of a chain with some skirts in the front of it, but definitely when the big eye are around, horse ballyhoo at the back of it, and jig it hard. Absolutely. Big eye, the bigger the ballyhoo, the better. I right? jig it. Jig it, jig Same it. Same deal for the big blue fin. Yes, when they come in yes, on the intro lumps with those yeah. big ballyhoo behind your blue and white, that, folks, is a killer. Absolutely. Tuna lure number two. Hey, you know it. You love it. If you've been around, you've seen it a million times. The one and only Epic Green Machine. Now, there are lots of versions of these around these days, but a couple key items. You got the green, you got the green skirt, of course, and you have the red beads going down the middle. You've got to have that. Most people like to rig this one fairly heavy leaders, say 140, 160 pound test even. I personally like to put this one 80 pound test, set it back there with nothing on the back. No ballyhoo, no additional anything. And with that light leader, it gets a really nice zigzag action. There isn't a tuna in the sea that won't eat that, but particularly when longfin are around, this people, this is the lure to have. Lure number three, well at the moment this green machine is a part of it. We're talking about spreader bars. This is a spreader bar made out of green machines. As you can see, it has three strings, one going down either side, one down the middle, and the hook bait is at the bottom of the chain in the middle. Now your spreader bars are incredibly effective. They're effective on all different species of tuna, in fact. And one of the great things about them is you can get them in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. Green is effective quite often. However, one of my personal favorites for spreader bars is this Rasta color. This is an absolute killer. When the yellowfin are around, also bluefin on the inshore lumps, they love this color pattern. On dark days, be sure to try dark color patterns. Put out some purples, try a purple spreader bar. You might also want to try splash bar which has birds at the top to make a commotion. Of course, these do create quite a commotion on the surface of the water, and they act not only as a lure, but also as a teaser. You billfish guys, now I know we're talking tuna today, but you billfish guys have a pitch bait at the ready because a lot of times those whites will come up and they'll whack at that spreader bar with their bill. Send it back a pitch bait, boom, you're on. Well, there you have it, folks. Three lures that are excellent for tuna fishing. Now look, you might have your own favorites and that's fine. Everyone has their own lures that they love, but I tell you this, if you put those three out and there are tuna fish around and they're on the feed, you will catch them. Now don't forget, you can head on over to fishtalkmag.com, check out our how-to section and get lots more info on fishing for tuna fish, fish in the Chesapeake Bay, fish off the Atlantic coast, fish, fish, fish. Don't miss another cool fish dog video, click below to subscribe.